Hey guys, Christmas time is just around the corner and uh, we're going to bring a topic which is very discussed these days and that is a PS5. Who wouldn't want one? I certainly would, but I'm not getting one since they're all pre-ordered. But the very best thing that you can do if you're not getting a PS5 is to create a redesign in Figma. This is where my laugh's at at the moment. So let's jump right into it. But before we do, I want to remind you that I just uh, launched a new Figma course. So if you're into a Christmas present for yourself, uh, get yourself the course if you want to become a Figma ninja. If not, if you just want to be a regular person with uh, Figma, don't get it. But uh, now let's just jump in right to the video. All right, guys, so let's uh, get going on this project. So basically I just went on uh, the PS5 website and uh, by the way if you hear this chip it's uh, my parrot since uh, he's going to be my official assistant today and uh, he's right next to me and when I talk he tends to start a monologue but anyways yeah as you can see over here we have uh, the PS5 website so we're gonna just going to give it a shot and try to redesign this and the very first thing which I did here in Figma is essentially grab the screenshot. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm just going to enter the frame tool by clicking on F. And by the way, I'm also going to add the keyboard as this is going to enable you to essentially see what I'm doing. All right, cool stuff. So we have our keyboard and the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on desktop and boom there we go so what uh, i'm thinking about doing here is to make all this full width so i'm just going to look at uh, and find a cool photo the unsplash.com and um, of a universe let's give it a shot let's see what we can find so we we kind of need to th to think about uh, what uh, is going to be a cool picture according to the theme which we're trying to achieve. So I want a picture of the universe with some tints of blue, since that is going to recall the, um, the actual blue LED in the PS5. So let me have a look around. I can't really, I can't really seem to find anything that's uh, what I'm looking for. Maybe this one is kind of cool. I keep it in mind, just going to open it up in a new tab and we're going to give it a shot in just a moment but I'm trying to find something, oh so this one is pretty cool it's more minimal of course but um, yeah, so we we're just having a look around and this is normal in the design process you don't really start with uh, a clear idea on anything it's just about trial and error for the most part so this one is kind of cool and uh, you just try and uh, figure out uh, what could be a good uh, solution so okay I'm just going to download this one and I'm not logged in for some reason but I think I can still um, use these photos and download them okay cool that yeah, seems to be working so Cool guys, the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to drag and drop that photo in uh, the actual artboard and uh, there you go. So let's do that. And there you go. Okay, cool stuff. And then uh, the other thing which I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate these uh, just a few times going to go over here, drag this one right here and uh, also we're going to drag this other one so let's move it right on top and I think I opened the wrong one so let's go over here and bring this one up so this is not really a compulsory step but just something that uh, I want to have uh, as an overview when I'm going to drag the PS5 uh, images right onto it. So it's going to go here, right PS5, and we're going to find a good uh, um, PNG so that we have the transparency going on. Let's 
give it a shot, see this one, it's going to be, no, all white, uh, so this one I guess, we need to find a, a image which is going to be transparent in the background, I mean this one is good for the controller, but just the controller, so transparent, Hmm. Okay, so as you can see, we're just like having a look around, trying to find a good, uh, yep, yeah, there you go. It's a transparent one. So, cool, 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 cool. Let's uh, give it a shot. Let's add it over here. Let's add a drop shadow in order to add some depth. And uh, you can really see it. Okay, cool. Let's try maybe something around these lines. It's going, oh, it's not looking good. This one, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Not too sure about the background. Let's give it a, it a shot over here or over here. Which one you like the most? Maybe let's go with this one here. Okay, cool. So let's do that. Let's bring it here. We're just going to start adding the text over here. So PlayStation 5. Cool. I have no idea what's their font, but I think I nailed it. Um, we need the thin version? No, definitely not. Definitely too much. Oh, something around these lines might actually work. Um, so let's start adding a button. I'm actually thinking at the same time what will be the next moves since so far I'm not really too excited about this. Still missing uh, a general direction I guess but we're going to figure it out uh, along the way because that's what we do. All right cool so let's go over here say bye now and uh, I'm actually trying to think if there is like a better way to show this. Uh, maybe like over here, uh, having just uh, not having the controller show and just having it on the, at the very top. So yeah, that's some test that we're gonna do. Okay, my parrot is obviously hungry since he started singing and I'm going to give him some food and I'll be right back. All right, now that the parrot is happy, we can bring back this um, this concept right here. Maybe let's try something around these lines. Let's center it. We're try and we're going to try and just center this one here. I'm not too too fond of the image like this, but we're going to figure out something. So let's just center a line of this, bring it right here, and uh, we're going to have uh, the Sony logo on the top left, or actually the PlayStation logo. Right, so literally, I just went on Google, got, got this guy, just going to drag it and drop it directly in, and it's not working. So, when it's not working like this, you drag it and drop it in the desktop, and then you, and you drag it and drop it directly in Figma. Cool, so far, so good, and we have an issue which is uh, this image is. Uh, uh, dark and we want it to be completely white. So 
we're gonna give it a shot and uh, hack our way towards a whiter version <laughs> that's even a thing and um, <clears throat> this can work at times it's not really the ideal but uh, you kind of see where I'm going with this now I'm also going to duplicate it and um, let's go over here and duplicate it and try one of these uh, um, essentially I'm going to duplicate it a few times this is a hack, this is not the way it's done <laughs> but uh, uh, basically it's something that uh, can work in the short run since this is not an actual like official design project so this is it and now I'm actually thinking if uh, it's worth considering adding some some blue or something around those lines like the the actual PlayStation blue and uh, maybe that could be maybe that could make it work even better and especially if we add a gradient of some sorts so as you can see this is starting to add a little bit more more depth to it maybe we want the gradient to actually start from uh, from the top go all the way to the bottom and uh, right over here we're actually going to have the gradient again and just uh, have this go like that and uh, we could actually consider starting to add like some icons maybe that's just something that i we could actually consider adding or if we want to keep it very minimal keep it like this so let's just give it a shot with some icons just to make the the whole project a little bit more three-dimensional some like suggestions of of apps and uh, things like that so going to add the oh actually how about we add this logo instead this one's going to look cooler the old playstation logo just to add a little bit of color uh, not too sure if it's going to look a little bit too old school i don't know guys maybe it's not uh, the right branding uh, for <laughs> this specific uh, project but uh, let's let's also add the psn logo um is that guy yep but we need the transparent version as always and is this the transparent one not too sure actually this is the PSN logo so what am I even looking for <laughs> so let's go ahead here and let's start searching for some inspiration and uh, apart from uh, the PSN what else is uh, really a important element uh, in uh, the branding of PlayStation let's have a look around let's figure this out Hmm. Yeah, for sure we can have the these symbols right here. So PlayStation icons, and there you go. So maybe something which is going to be 3D. Oh, these ones look pretty cool. And uh, I'm actually looking for something which is going to to be more three-dimensional in general. And let's have a look around. Let's try and figure this out in an easy, an easy way. Huh? This is a little bit tricky. I'm just going to do PlayStation X. Yeah, you, you know what's the tricky part in this, guys, is that I'm trying to figure out uh, a style, an icon. Well, let's just add this one or something around these lines, actually which is going to look well with with this guy right here so i'm actually going to go and use uh, this one so let's do like this and since we since we don't have uh, a transparent background we're going to leverage remove.bg and let's uh, drag it to drop it here and as you can see remove.bg just done its magic 
click on download and we have uh, our PNG. Cool, cool stuff. So, all right, we have uh, this guy right here. Just going to select and center this one. <clears throat> and we also have uh, this one here. So, as you can see, we are creating a little bit more dynamism. Is this the most exciting landing page you've ever seen? Probably not, but uh, we kind of like simplify some elements. And uh, one thing that we're definitely missing is the PS5 logo and also the, the menu. So let's go and add that. So PS5, actually let's figure out if we can, yeah, I, th I think we can definitely <clears throat> just drag it and drop it over here. And I'm going to drag it and drop it again. Cool, cool stuff. So are we going to add this guy though? <laughs> there isn't much space. So in this case, we're actually going to probably just make this bottom a little bit smaller. Set this as medium and or actually as bold. And we're going to drag it right here. Since this is a classic uh, uh, UX location for a <coughs> call to action button. And we're also going to add uh, a hamburger menu. Since uh, who doesn't like hamburgers? Uh, that's the lamest joke I did today. So just bear with me. I just woke up, guys. I'm not in that. Uh, <laughs> Joking mood, <laughs> the good one, I guess. So, all right, anyways, let's go over here and let's add this hamburger menu. <clears throat> and we're going to change the color to white. Let's center this guy, bring it here. And cool. Do I even need this one? Because it's kind of like a repetition. Bring it above, bring it below, make it smaller maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe something around these lines could uh, actually work. I'm just going to switch uh, the location of this guy, oops, and this one. And uh, there you go. Cool. I think uh, so far, so good. So I have this uh, new redesign of the PlayStation 5 landing page. So I'm going to leave the source file in the description if you're interested. And um, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Again, uh, go and experiment with Figma and uh, go ahead and also buy a PlayStation 5 if you're interested in that one. It's definitely going to be fun. Cool, cool. We'll see you in the next video.